time of year again. All the native Aussie bees. Yep. Don't sting or nothing, they just they just exist. Check this out, local library's got to rob the robot. It's pretty cool. Disconnect this time. I already filmed this video once and I'm a little bit annoyed because I hate having to redo videos, man. It's the most annoying thing in the world. It's annoying. Alright, let me redo the bad at the beginning of the other video. Ho ho ho, it's Seager Claws. Rain down the Fucking snow. I really hate it when I have to refilm a video, man. I feel like I've wasted my time. I feel like I've lost something and, like, I basically sat and talked to myself for half an hour. I only do that on Tuesdays. I don't want to be doing it on other days. But, alright, what can you do? What, what, what can you do? There's nothing I can do about it, so... There's no point getting annoyed about it. So, what have I been doing? I've been hunting. I've been Christmasing. That's about it, really. And I'm going to show you the stuff I got for Christmas and stuff I got otherwise. Firstly, start off with my local cash converters. Um, I went there and I saw John Carter. It's really cool to see him, he's an awesome dude. Uh, he does his own channel and videos, he's been reviewing a bunch of golf games for some reason, so uh, I'll link to his channel in the description. Uh, check him out, he's a great tuber. Uh, he lives kinda locally and he was getting food near me, so he actually hit up my cash converter and I hit him up and I saw him there and I was like, hey Carter, how you doing? But, he didn't grab anything, I grabbed a little bit of stuff. Uh, they put out a couple of new PSP games, including this one here, which I did not have. Puzzle Quest, Challenge of the Warlords, or the Warlords, if I can say that correctly. He said this was really good. I played it for a little bit. It's okay so far. I definitely have to give it more of a go to see if it's really my kind of thing. It's like a puzzle RPG. It's pretty good. Got two films. Uh, there's Batman Gotham Knight, which is really good. It's a collection of six little Batman stories, all in their own, like, animation style. It's pretty cool. I think it's made by six different people. Maybe, I don't know. And the castle on DVD. I can get rid of my, uh, VHS copy now that I have this. And that <laughs> registration of pedigree is... That's fantastic, man. I didn't actually open that and see that. That's really, really cool. Awesome. Uh, yeah, this is going straight to the pool room. Good movie. And when I got, another time I was in there, they had a few, like, DVD seasons of, like, uh, old kids shows, and this was the only one that was $9, the other one was, like, 30 bucks. they had Ghostbusters and Pokemon. But I got The Mysterious Cities of Gold, all 39 episodes. I already had this, but I traded it in. I might trade this one in. See, yeah, who knows? It's like a $15 trade-in, so I mean that's 6 bucks, money made. I'm not wearing this the whole video, it's hot man. It's hot, I'm annoyed. <laughs> Alright, random op shop, also an Indra Pilly. Uh, I got this game here, Sonic Mega Collection Plus. Paid $5 for it, which I wouldn't have paid, because I already have it. Unless I was getting this guy right here, this was also $5. And this place has a $10 minimum Eptos, so I usually don't get anything from there, because usually if I see one or two things, they'll only come up like 5 bucks. But I saw this for 5 bucks, and I thought, yeah, I'm willing to grab something to pay with this. And it is a Texas Instruments TI-84 Plus calculator. I need to clean this up and send it off. So I already sold it. I paid 5 bucks for this. 
I put it up for forty dollars plus five dollars shipping. Someone offered me thirty bucks, and I thought, yeah, that's good enough. Take that. Give me a second. A little bit of stuff on. I can probably set it up like that. That's fine. But yeah, people always need these, especially in the New Year's. So yeah, thirty bucks plus shipping on that. I made money. I sent that off today. The buy a box, gotta pay it out nicely. Alright. I went to the 42 Valley Cash Converters. Uh, the last week, Christmas week, has all been just one big haze for me, so I don't remember what day I got these, but I got them. I certainly got them. Um, the Cash Converters in 42 Valley was having 50% 50, 50 off all of their DVDs and video games, so I thought, forget DVDs. I'm just going to stack up on games while I'm here, and I found a bunch of good ones. Uh, a bunch to sell and a bunch to keep. We have Star Wars Battlefront Renegade Squadron on the PSP. Paid three bucks for that. I already had that game. The next one I'm going to show you. So I'm selling these copies. Ten bucks free ship on the eBay. Uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2. Six bucks, 50 percent off. Only three bucks. Bloody flies. Uh, Viking Battle for Asgard? I don't think I have this one yet. But if I already do, I will be selling it on. Six bucks, 50 percent off. Uh, Dynasty Warriors 6, which I was going to give to Carter, but he said he already had it, so... I will be keeping it for myself until I get sick of it and sell it. $3.50 there. One to sell. Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance 2. 10 bucks minus 50% off. Really good deal on that. Only 5 bucks. Um, I think the disc had a little bit of... The disc does have scratches, but if I throw it up for $10 for free ship and say it has some scratches, I'm sure it will sell. Like, I'm not looking to make crazy money. This just, just looking to recoup my money. Uh, one to keep. Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja 4. It's a nice embossed cover here. That's a slipcover. Pretty cool. Not too many PS2 games have slipcovers. But, um... Yeah, this... I don't know if this is like... There are so many Naruto games, man. I'm pretty sure this is the same as Ultimate Ninja Storm 4, but it could be a completely different game. I don't know. There are too many Naruto games. There are too many Dragon Ball Z games. We have Resident Evil Code Rotic X. It's actually a dollar minus 50% off, so a really good deal there. Let's see what the original price was. They wanted 12 bucks for this at one point. They mugged down to a dollar. I got 50 cents. Uh, we have two Japanese Nintendo Wii games, which is kind of cool. I don't know if I want to sell them or keep them, but I thought for two dollars fifty each, I wasn't just going to leave them there. Some other Naruto game that requires motion controls as a telephone number on the back if you want to call it. I don't know who you're going to be answering, but feel free. And Metroid Prime 3 Corruption. This was only $2.50 again. Really good condition on both of these. Really good condition. But yeah, they're Japanese copies, so I don't think I really want to keep them. I can play them. I have a, like a modded Wii, but I don't really think I want to keep them. It'd just be fodder in the collection. Uh, one that I've already sold, or I sold my copy of, and I'm keeping this copy, Dark Souls. Uh, $3.50 for this is a really, really good price. Um, this game usually is like 30 bucks. I sold mine for 15 And it sold really quickly. <laughs> so yeah, made money on that, which is cool. And this one here, which is the big purchase, and, I don't know, Maybe the purchase of the week, I don't know. There are a few things in here that could be considered purchase of the week, but this was 50 bucks minus 50% off, so $25. I grabbed a copy of The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Really good game. Um, I haven't finished it. This is one of the games I had back when I originally had my collection, back in like 2010. Like, I just had this game. Before I like sold all my games stupidly, so yeah, it was only a disc only copy, so it's not like the 
biggest tragedy that it's gone, but whatever. It's nice to have a complete copy of this again, and this is just about as complete as it can get. You have the manual here. You have a flyer for some games that I'm never going to own. I own a couple of them. Uh, now nah, let's be honest, I'll never own Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem Paths of Radiance, that's like a $150 game. Uh, little thing saying Team Up with Tingle, I'd rather not if that's okay with him. And a little warranty thingy, so yeah. That's as complete as it's ever going to be. And for 25 bucks, I thought that was actually a really good deal, because I've been wanting to get this one back for years and years, so cool to get. Now, I... Just for Christmas, I ordered a few games online, just because I wanted them. And I thought, it's the Christmas season, I'll grab them. We have a game that cost me $10 with free shipping. It's not a very expensive game at all, but it's one that I just kind of wanted. Uh, Fluid. This is a music generator for the PlayStation 1. But the gimmick is that you swim around as a dolphin. And you, like, collect sounds with the dolphin. It's pretty cool. I'm playing that one at the moment. It's really, really trippy. It's good to play if you're gonna get high, I guess. Uh, this one was like 20-something dollar ship, low 20s. Uh, Where the Samurai 4, pretty good game. I think I haven't played it yet. I don't know why I said that. Um, I played the first one and enjoyed it, and it's got the Piro said that the rest of the games in the series were really good, so I thought I would sit down and play them. Uh, one of them was actually a pretty good deal. This was from the Cash Converters web shop, and this cost me $23 plus um, like 4 bucks shipping, so like $27 for this is a really good deal. Uh, considering like people usually ask like 50 to 60 bucks for this, so... I think the reason this didn't go too high is because the listing said it didn't have manual and it had a little bit of scratching, but um, I'll be the judge of that, I thought. It is Pikmin 2. So yeah, $27 ship for Pikmin 2, that's a really, really good price. I have the first one here. Yeah. Somewhere. Here we go. I have the first Pikmin game here. Now I have the second one. Cool to get, cool to get. Um, this is without the manual, and they said there was some scratching on the disc, but... I mean, in my lighting, it looks completely fine. It's not like mint or anything, but there's no like huge gouges or anything. I mean, it's, it's fine. If I was listening to this on eBay, I wouldn't even say it had scratches, so... Yeah, cool to get. Um, my friend got me this for Christmas. It is currently in my PS4. Let me get it out. Let me get it out, Let me get it out of there. It is... Earth Defense Force 4.1, and... He actually came over and we played for a little bit. Take that, thank you. I say a little bit, but we actually played it for like five hours, so I mean, yeah, this game is addicting and really, really fun. It's like the other Pikmin games, except it's like the other Earth Defense Force games, except there's more to it, and there's, yeah, just more to it. A lot more enemies, there's a lot more like characters and weapons you can get. It's fun. Um, just to show it. People got me hot sauce packs. You tell people you like spicy food and they get your hot sauce packs. That's how it works. I'm happy. I mean, I, I like hot sauce. <laughs> I like spicy food. Spicy food is nice and that lasts me for a while. Um, but for the big thing that I got this week, I told Andy about this. I bought myself a ColecoVision. Let me show you it. Trying to get through this as quickly as possible. Yeah, 
for myself a ColecoVision. It has the steering wheel controller. It's both the controllers there. It had a hundred dollar price tag on it at a local store. But I got him down to fifty for it. So if my room is like a little bit messy, I've been I wanna clean up and uh get a lot of stuff out before the end of the year. But I went and bought that because about a month earlier. Yes, a month. I've been holding stuff for a month. I got this stuff. A bunch of clicker video games. I'll show you the game that came with the console itself that the guy had. This was just in like a local store. It was in like um a place called Middle Park or Sumner Park, something like that. Uh came with the instruction manual for the console, which is actually really, really cool. I really like this kind of stuff. Um, I think it even says stuff about the expansion modules. Where was it? And this is like an official Australian one too, because like I actually mentioned like New South Wales, Queensland, stuff like that. Um, I was reading through it, it definitely mentions it somewhere. Mentions it somewhere. I'll find it eventually. <laughs> but it came with this game here, Mousetrap, a lot like Pac-Man. Pretty good. But it makes some room here. It also came with. Oh no, but that's all I got from the guy in the store for fifty dollars, and I managed to get this stuff on a online listing. This guy had a bunch of ColecoVision games, individually priced. He had like different listings for each one, and they were like ten dollars each plus like eight dollars shipping. And I shot him a message saying, "Would you be willing to take a hundred dollars plus shipping for all of these? Because if it's like eight dollars shipping each, that's going to be like a hundred dollars shipping for all of them. But if you are willing to send them out in a bulk lot, I'm willing to." pay what you want for them, and then just throw like 30 bucks for shipping for all of them, and I'll just put it in your PayPal account so you don't have to worry about like fees or nothing. And he was happy with this. Got these games, I got... I got 14 games for 130 bucks, I thought it was pretty good, that's like $9 each I think. Got Smurf, really good game, I have this on the Atari, but it's better on the ColecoVision. Um, this was the only double. Have a cardboard box copy as well. It's in there. I don't think there's a manual, but whatever. And I like the cardboard boxes. They don't hold up very well. I like these like plastic cases. They're really nice. Um, but if I was just to get this in a cardboard box, I'd still be happy. Donkey Kong. For the Clicker Vision. Look at that artwork. Isn't that awesome? I guess it's kind of beat up, but I mean, for what I paid for it, I'm happy. Like, if I paid nine dollars each for these in a store, I'd be ecstatic to get them, man. Like, all the cartridges are in good condition. A little bit of, like, web and shit on them, but, yeah, they're all in really good condition. I've tested out most of them so far. I've tested out Donkey Kong and it works. i tested out Smurf and it works. Now we have Ladybug. Uh, for everyone wondering, in Australia and PAL territories, Wikivision games came in these plastic cases. And they're really cool because they're way better than those stupid uh, cardboard boxes that age and shit. These ones don't. They just look great. But Ladybug is a Pac-Man clone. It's really good though. Uh, Cosmic Avenger. This is a little bit like, um... What's the name? Defender. It's pretty good. Uh, Carnival. Which is Space Invaders except for shooting things at a carnival. That was in a blue case, that's pretty cool. Uh, Venture, haven't played yet. Uh, Donkey Kong Jr., which is a really good game, it actually plays really well on the ColecoVision, it's a good game. Gorf, I play this on the Atari, it's a straight Pac-Man. Space Invaders clone. Um, Pepper 2? 
haven't played this one yet, I'm not really sure what it's about. Uh, Looping, which I tried for a little bit because I read online that it was a shoot 'em up. Um, I can't really figure it out to be honest. There's like on the first screen, you scroll and you get to like this wall, and I can't get past the wall. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Uh, Space Fury. This is Asteroids on crack. It's crazy good. Uh, Zaxxon. Not Zaxxon 3D, just Zaxxon. Uh, this one is okay. It's not my favorite game. I have it on another system, possibly the uh, Master System back here. I don't see it, but that doesn't mean I don't have it. Um, it's okay. Like, it, it's got a really cool idea because, like, it's isometric, so you can, like, change your depth, but... It's not the best game, unfortunately. Or at least I didn't think so. And the final game here came in a cool, like, yellow case here. Space Panic. I haven't had a chance to play this one yet, so I'm not really sure what it's about, but it looks cool. So, yeah. 14 ColecoVision games. Plus the ColecoVision for under for under 200 bucks. Um, yeah, it's a lot of money, but I really wanted to get it, so... It was cool to get on my ColecoVision games. I'm going to flip them over so they're facing the right way up. And go right here. They can look pretty, and I can play them whenever I want. I really want to get Venture a go, that one looks pretty good. So, yeah. That's it. I have to send off that calculator. I have to send off a few other stuff. And, um... Yeah, that's about it. Tried to keep this short. Hopefully it's under 20 minutes. If not, sorry about that. The seat of my house, bidding you farewell. Fuck this camera. Um, yeah, that's it. See you Have you had a Merry Christmas. And that's all, folks.